Robert Spencer here for Jihad Watch, a program of the David Horowitz Freedom Center and for the Center for Security Policy, with the truth about the cynical and deceptive report on Islamophobia recently issued by the Hamas-linked Council on American Islamic Relations, CARE. The new report was CARE's response to the Orlando massacre perpetrated by a Muslim who declared his allegiance to the Islamic State, or ISIS. Instead of announcing a program to teach young Muslims why they should reject the understanding of Islam held by the Islamic State, Al-Qaeda, and other jihad groups, CARE just doubled down on its Islamophobia narrative. The whole Islamophobia enterprise is designed to intimidate people into thinking that there's something wrong with opposing jihad terror, and this new report is no different. A few seconds of thought would expose the deceptiveness of it to anyone, but Hamas-linked CARE is banking on the fact that most people, especially on the left but not limited to it, will not give the report even that much thought, but will just take it at face value, anxious to avoid being stigmatized themselves with the Islamophobe label. For those who are willing to consider the facts, however, here are some of the problems with the new report. First is that according to an NBC report on CARE's latest Islamophobia salvo, 33 Islamophobic groups had access to $205 million between 2008 and 2013 to spread fear and hatred of Muslims. Now what the NBC report doesn't tell you, and certainly what CARE doesn't tell you, are these groups part of one umbrella organization? No. Are they collaborators? Some are and some aren't. Do they share funding? No. So $205 million, if that figure is even accurate, and it probably isn't, over six years, spread out among 33 different and quite disparate organizations. That actually averages out to a bit over a million a year per organization, a figure that is actually not a large operating budget for a major organization, and doubtless, doubtless much smaller than the operating budget of Hamas-linked care itself in any given year. And for the record, my organization Jihad Watch has never had anything close to a million dollars in any given year. Second, these organizations are supposedly dedicated to spreading fear and hatred of Muslims. Now that's not my objective, and I would venture to say that it is not the objective of any of the other people or organizations mentioned in Hamas Linked CARE's report. CARE's entire premise is false that to call attention to jihad terror activity and to call for effective lawful responses to it is tantamount to spreading fear and hatred of Muslims. Hamas linked care and its allies have spread this big lie so insistently for so many years that it has entered the American mainstream. But that doesn't make it any more true than it was when they first advanced it. If CARE had ever provided even one example of a foe of jihad terror who was simultaneously not an Islamophobe in their eyes, this charge might have more credibility. But they never have. In reality, as far as Hamas-linked care is concerned, any opposition to jihad terror, any opposition to it at all, is Islamophobic and spreading fear and hatred of Muslims. Now this Islamophobia report also claims that attacks on mosques have increased with 78 recorded incidents in 2015. What they don't say is this, have I or any of the others mentioned in this report ever called for attacks on mosques? Of course not. Have any of the people who attacked mosques ever invoked any of us to explain why they did so? No. Have Muslims faked hate attacks on mosques? Yes, on many occasions. So which is more likely? that any actual attack on a mosque by a non-Muslim vigilante idiot was provoked by our reporting about jihad terror, or was it more likely that it was provoked by jihad terror itself, against which the mosques in the U.S. have not acted in any strong fashion? Hamas-linked care would have you believe that this alleged cabal of Islamophobic individuals and groups is responsible for American suspicion and distrust of Muslims, when in reality, the people who are responsible for any actual suspicion and distrust of Muslims are people like Omar Mateen, Syed Rizwan Farooq, Tashfeen Malik, Jokhart Tsarnaev, Tamerlan Tsarnaev, Nidal Malik Hassan, and myriad other jihad terrorists. In an introduction to the report itself, Hamas-linked CARE's Nihad Awad says this, the report makes a case that those who value constitutional ideals like equal protection, freedom of worship, or an absence of religious tests for those seeking public office no longer have the luxury of just opposing the U.S. Islamophobia network's biased messaging. 
but I don't oppose equal protection, freedom of worship, or an absence of religious tests for those seeking public office, and once again, I'd venture to say that none of the others mentioned in the report do either. This is a straw man designed to demonize opponents of jihad terror and opposition to jihad terror in general. In reality, we're just trying to do all we can via legal means to stop jihad activity in the U.S., but Hamas-linked care cannot and will not acknowledge that because to do so would reveal its own actual agenda, so it has to mischaracterize our aims. The report also says, Islamophobia is a con contrived fear or prejudice fomented by the existing Eurocentric and Orientalist global power structure. It is directed at a perceived or real Muslim threat through the maintenance and extension of existing disparities in economic, political, social, and cultural relations, while rationalizing the necessity to deploy violence as a tool to achieve civilizational rehab of the target communities, Muslim or otherwise. Now, if you cut through all this pseudo-academic gobbledygook, you will see that what Kerr is saying is that Islamophobia as a contrived fear or prejudice is fomented in response to a real Muslim threat. So Hamas-linked care admits that there is a real Muslim threat, but claims that the Islamophobic individuals and groups in its report have a wrong response to it, and indeed are representative of the existing Eurocentric and Orientalist global power structure. Now the idea that the global power structure today is anything but fully in line with Hamas-linked care's point of view today is wildly absurd. But even aside from that, Nowhere does CARE bother to explain what a proper response would be to this acknowledged real Muslim threat. Apparently, it would be nothing more or less than to surrender to it, since this Islamophobia report is designed to defame and discredit those who are standing against it, thereby clearing the field so that the jihad can advance unimpeded and unopposed. I'm Robert Spencer.